Hi, today we will do iron club restoration. If you are wondering if you can turn this into this, the answer is yes, you can. And I will show you how to do it at home without any professional equipment. YouTube golfer. Things you will need to proceed with the restoration are steel and brass brush, sandpaper, paint, vinegar, and some white spirit, polishing wax, and a masking tape. You need to have a polisher. It doesn't have to be professional polisher. I couldn't find any cheap one, so I bought the bench grinder, which I slightly modified to put the polishing wheels on it. These are the golf clubs, which I got for 15 pounds. It's around $20. Today we will speak about the rust mostly. I prepared plastic bowl and just a white vinegar. We will pour it in, put the clubs in and leave it overnight so it can work. It's not gonna fit. We will need a bigger bowl and much more vinegar. I'm back with a bigger box. I'm gonna put it in the tray. So if there will be any spillage, it will stay where it should be. Again. I will just lay them down a little bit more so the faces will be all submerged. We will keep it for at least like 12 hours, 24 hours. Longer you have is better. Let it work and we will come back to it tomorrow. Let's see what we have here. I would say it looks a little bit better. I can't see a lot of rust on it. Right now it looks pretty good. Let's dry it up. I will try to brush the rust with the brass brush because we're not gonna paint those so I don't want to hurt it too much let's see how it goes dang it looks really good I didn't expect that to be honest just a tip clean with some vinegar and the results are amazing the rust came off <laughs> There is still a little bit of rust just in the corner. It's not not easy to get in there. This is a decent brush, but it's a little bit too big. It's hard to get into those tight spaces. Oh yeah, I got it. Look at that. Would you say that was a rusty club? That, that part is a little bit more shiny than inside. So I will give it a little bit more I will give it a quick clean on the whole club to get rid of anything that might be there that is all clean I'm thinking about getting rid of this dent here really bad I think I will just leave it like it is I will now because I want to the inside to stay like it is not only because it would be tough to polish it in I have a tiny polishing bit which you can attach to the drill and just polish inside but I don't think it's necessary it will be nice to have it inside a little bit more matte effect and on the outside really all polished because there are some scratches on the bottom I will smooth it a little bit Go for 120. I don't want this club to look like a new one. You know, we could smooth all the scratches and it would look like trade from the shop. But I don't think that's the point. I just want them to look really good. I think that's enough. Let's go for the polishing. What do you think? More shiny? Definitely more shiny. I will clean it a little bit of 
or residue. There might be still some wax on it, you know. All right. How do you like it, guys? For me, looks much better, looks much cleaner. What I will do now, I will mask the face and I will scratch the face with a steel brush to have it a little bit more matte. I can see a little bit of the old line, but it's not easy to get the proper angle to be able to see it. I will put a few layers of the tape so it won't come off so easily. Let's go. Professional would do this with a sander. They will just sand it down to have it matte, but we do it at home so we don't have a sander. Not a big difference to be honest. You know what? I will give it a little bit of 180. I think it made a difference. Let's see what we got. For me, it looks good enough. There is a difference between the face and the rest of the club, so I can clearly see where the sweet spot is. Okay, now I would like to get rid of the sticker. It's old, doesn't look very good. If you have a heat gun, you should use it. I do have, but I want to try if I can do it without. One more sticker, just a little bit of glue. I will try to clean the glue, it's coming off. So the white spirit like broke the glue so it doesn't stick anymore but you have to scrape it I can't even see where it was that means it worked really good all right so it's all cleaned and I will try to brush the rust of the shaft with brass one What I need to do now is to clean all the all the writings. Uh, so I will use just a tiny screwdriver, a screw with a really sharp top, and that's what I will use to fill in all the letters. That's a golf club paint. It's got a needle, so you won't spill the paint all over. You will just applicate it straight into the engravings. A really useful thing, uh, I would say, Go for it. Uh, you can use a very fine paintbrush. Just be careful because I just went out of it and scratched the face the bottom a little bit. I think we're good to go. It's all clean inside. Long story short. The paint doesn't want to come out of it. I tried to move it a little bit. I just broke it. So there is no more needle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just fill it with the paint and just take out all the stuff. I think that's really good. There was a bit of paint in the face as well. I'm not really happy to give it a go. I would rather leave it like this. I would say it's done. I just need to wait until the paint will harden to clean it properly. Maybe fill up a little bit more. We need to clean the grips now. I use a brush like this and a little bit of dish soap. Warm water. Finally did another layer uh, and I just left it like this because you can scrape it easily. It's not fully cured uh, because it sucks inside. I can just scrape with a plastic scraper so it will be nice and shiny again. Boom, that's done. That's how it looks. 
from a clean cloth. And this is the outcome. I like how the restoration goes, but I have to tell you, if it comes to the shaft, it's not worth to sand it with a sanding paper because I still see the scratches. And because it's so tiny and so long, I don't want to spend another few hours polishing it. So I will just leave it like it is now. There is a little bit of mess behind me. I need to clean everything up. But as you can see, restoration of a club, which was rusty and not in very good condition, went really good. I'm very happy about the things I did. It wasn't very hard to do. So, you know, just go for it. Uh, the only thing you really need is the polisher. I paid for mine 20 quid, which is around 25 dollars. And I also paid like 10 quid for the polishing wheels. That's like 13 dollars probably. You know, that's something which you really need if you want to restore your clubs. That's the bare minimum. I have to mention that soaking clubs in the vinegar actually works. I was pretty amazed to be honest because I thought it's not gonna make a big change but when I took the clip out of it the most of the rust was gone so I just had to brush it with the uh, brass brush the effects are amazing it's definitely worth it stay with me hit the subscribe button so you won't miss the next episode and see you soon thank you for watching